What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be talking about those practical and logical guys. Why is it do they have such a tough time with their dating lives? And on top of that, why do they have such a tough time getting good dating advice? You know, speaking as a practical and logical guy myself, this is a big motivator for why I started uh, this channel in the first place and why I'm kind of going to be coming out with the practical approaching system, which is actually going to be released this, uh, this Friday, September 10th. We finally have a release date. So if you want to get notified about that, there's a link in the description box below. Okay, cool. So what am I going to talk about in this video? I'm going to talk about why it's so hard for practical and logical guys to get a good dating life. I think they have it tougher than a lot of other people. Um, and why is it that they are, it's so hard for them to get good advice? Okay. And the last thing I'm actually going to give you a little bonus. I'm going to give you guys a test that you can take to test your intelligence when it comes to mating, dating, uh, and getting the kind of girls that you want in your life. All right. So, uh, if you want to test your intelligence, see where you lie. And if you need to do some work, well, let's try and get those scores up. Um, but we have a, we have tests for your intelligence quotient, your, even your emotional intelligence quotient. We have tests for that now too. Let's take a test for dating and see what your mating intelligence is. Okay. So that's going to be, uh, available for you in the description box below. There's a link, uh, click on the link and take the test. And then if you want to get your results, um, you'll get them emailed to you. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about why it's so hard for practical and logical guys. Okay. Speaking as a practical and logical guy, I grew up in this, in this sphere where I was basically, you know, I succeeded in a lot of other areas in life. And I find this is true for a lot of other practical and logical guys. You know, my sports teams did great schoolwork, killed it. My job, well, I killed it at first and then I kind of started to lose motivation. It's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. But I succeeded in all of these areas and it was frustrating for me when it came to my dating life and in some cases my social life that I wasn't getting what I wanted. I wasn't satisfied. Okay. So if you feel like this, then there's a pretty big reason for it. And one of the reasons was I was a super practical and logical guy and women, unfortunately, are emotional creatures. Yes, they can do practical and logical stuff in their jobs and stuff like that. Yes, they're very capable. But when it comes to their relationships, they are going to go for the guy who makes them feel something. There are some women who will just logically, do, oh, he's the, he's, you know, got a certain social status and he'd be, you know, safe choice or whatever. So sometimes logically they'll pick that person, but how often do those marriages actually end up being happy? Very rarely, you know, and a lot of times they end up in divorce. Okay. So I don't want you uh, to be getting into a relation relationship or relationships uh, with women who make decisions based off of that reason. I want them to feel something when they get with you. And like, that's usually what is going to be necessary anyway. Okay. So I would apply the logic and practicality that I had done to all the different areas of my life. But when it came to an emotional person, someone who was complex, someone who had different wants and needs, I was completely incapable of satisfying those. And because of that, I was not very good with picking up women, getting girls, getting dates, having a girlfriend, any of that stuff. I was completely clueless and I struggled most of my life in that position. So what did I do to try and fight this? Well, one of the things that I did was I went out five nights a week, pretty much every single week, okay, to figure this out. And it was hard. It sucked. Applying the same, you know, logical principles that I had done again and again, um, you know, a lot of times it wasn't working. But eventually I figured it out, okay? And I don't want you guys to have to go through what I went through to to learn what I, what I know right now, okay? So that's why I have this channel. That's why I'm coming up with a practical approaching system is to help you guys with all that stuff, okay? So practical and logical guys, they have trouble understanding the emotions behind women. Yes, it's a complicated situation, but you can, it is possible, you can do this, guys. You can break it down into like practical, uh, simple, and logical steps. I've done this and this is, this is my life's work right here. It does, it can happen, all right? The problem is that most guys are given the wrong messages. And the typical advice that you see for the practical and logical guy is just be yourself or my favorite, just be confident. It's like, listen, buddy, if I was confident, I wouldn't have asked you this question in the first place. <laughs> okay. And I have been, been being myself. That's what's not working. <laughs> 
you know, so you get that, you get that kind of advice. And you also get the guys who are like, oh, it's all about looks. And so the person ends up giving up and doesn't even try. Or it's all about being rich. And so the guy makes a lot of money and then he's still back to where he was before with no options and no, you know, a very unfulfilling dating and relationship life. Okay, so if you feel like you, any of those things resonate with you, you're not alone. There's so many guys out there who feel like that. And so what came along after that was a lot of the pickup advice that was, uh, you know, that was the thing, thing that I was, was dealing with a lot when I was coming up. There was some good advice. There was a lot of bad advice, <laughs> okay? Uh, and some of it worked. Some of it actually helped guys get better. And, but what I noticed was that although there were some guys that would get better, I noticed that there were a lot of guys who were actually getting weirder and you know even a little creepier in, in some cases. Uh, and so it didn't really help those guys. It didn't help them actually get a fulfilling uh, dating life. What it did help them was it kind of, sometimes it helped them get like a lot of quick reactions or like surface level successes. Um, and that's not really what I was looking for. So when I went about this process, I wanted something that was like more encompassed everything. It was kind of like, a, I guess, the, the advice that they were, those, lot, those guys were giving, but like, you know, a more complete version of it. Okay, because I think a lot of it was actually good. It did help out some people. Um, all right, so that was why, that, that was the reason why practical and logical guys were struggling with their dating lives and also too why the advice that they were getting just wasn't really helping them out. So as a practical and logical guy, it's important for you to figure out where you're at right now. And what we'll do tomorrow is I'm going to be coming out with a video that's going to help you uh, figure out how to use your practical and logical sense to succeed with women. But first, let's take a test to see where you lie. And that test is to test your mating intelligence. So if you want to get a link to that, the link is in the description box below. Cool. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good luck out there.